The Treasury Department and IRS say they've dispersed 90 million stimulus payments so far, but that set the agency back from doing its other job, sending out tax refunds. According to The Washington Post, nearly 7 million tax filers are in limbo and facing substantial delays in getting refunds so far this tax filing season. That number is more than three times the number in the same period last year, when fewer than 2 million returns faced delays delayed processing. Heather Long co-wrote that piece. She's an economics correspondent for The Post. Hi there, Heather. Good to see you again. So you spoke with some people who filed on the first day they could in February and who still have not gotten their returns. Has the IRS commented on what's behind the delays? Uh, they have. And as a matter of fact, we've just learned from Congress today that the IRS is and there's so much duress that, that it has decided to push back the tax filing deadline. So instead of April 15th, it looks like it's going to be May 17th is the deadline to file the 2020 tax returns. And part of the reason they're doing this is what we reported on over the weekend. There is such a deluge right now of tax returns coming in, and the IRS has been incredibly slow at processing those. It basically wasn't ready. It wasn't ready when tax filing season opened on February 12th. There were a number of changes to the computer systems that needed to be made. Uh, after the, the stimulus in December passed, and those just were not updated. And so, unfortunately, a lot of these 7 million people who are waiting desperately for their refunds are low-income Americans. And if you filed for the Earned Income Tax Credit, the EITC, the Child Tax Credit, the CTC, as it's known, or if you claim that you didn't get all your stimulus money last year in 2020, any of those three categories, the returns are often being sent to the error resolution department, which basically means somebody manually has to look at your tax return. And there's still tax returns from 2019 waiting for manual review. The overall backlog we, we just reported today is nearly 25 million returns from individuals and businesses still waiting wow. for a human being to look at them. Wow, it's incredible to think about it in those terms for a human being and with a backlog of that many. Um, so then, Heather, is there a ballpark estimate on when people can expect returns this year if they're sent to that error resolution system? It's going to be a long time. Obviously, if they have to make it through 25 million, that does not happen overnight. Uh, they are supposedly going through them in the order that they come in. They've been telling people it should be 10 weeks before they hear anything. Usually that means they just get a letter in the mail sort of explaining what happened to their return and possibly asking for maybe an extra identification verification or some sort of extra supporting document to, uh, to income verify. But that's really frustrating. As I wrote in the piece, we spoke to many people who Again, these are a lot of low-income Americans. I spoke to a woman who's waiting on $8,000 in refunds, and mm. that's supposed to pay for her car. She has to get repairs on her car, help pay for her rent. She can't get to work until she can get those repairs done on her vehicle. So waiting an extra two months, three months for that money may be fine for the IRS, but that is really impacting her livelihood. Yeah, as you point out in your piece, just some real-world consequences with every day that goes by. Um, Heather, as you mentioned, the IRS is delaying the filing deadline to mid-May. Is there anything that can be done to speed up processing delays for returns? Uh, you would think so. So the latest stimulus package, the $1.9 trillion that just passed, did finally give the IRS some more money. So for the past decade, they've been had a huge funding cut at the IRS. They've had to cut 20,000 jobs. So they're just being asked to do more and more at a time when they have fewer and fewer people. And that last stimulus package did give an extra $1.9 billion for the IRS. That will certainly help. But of course, this is very sensitive tax information. It has people's social security number, their income, their addresses. Uh, you can't just hire somebody you know, tomorrow, unfortunately, they have to go through a bit of a lengthy training process to be able to review a tax return and to be able to handle secure documents like this. So that's it's a bit of a you know, chicken and an egg problem. Yes, the money is there now, but I just don't think it's going to be improving in the next week or two. And that's why there was so much pressure on Congress to delay the filing 
uh, you know, give a little bit more time this filing season. So given that backlog, given the staffing situation, does that basically mean people should file as soon as possible to get their returns? Normally, that's exactly what I would say, but there's a big asterisk to that. And that is, first of all, you should definitely file online, not a paper return. I used to be someone myself who liked to file paper returns. That is an even longer backlog. There's a thousand, uh, millions of returns from 2019 that were filed by paper that have not been processed yet. So definitely file online. The big asterisk I'm speaking about is Congress just passed the stimulus, and in that stimulus bill, it makes the first $10,000 of unemployment money from last year, from 2020, tax-free. That is a big change in the middle of tax season. We are currently awaiting the IRS guidance on how they're going to handle that. Are they going to change the form, change the 1040 form in order to handle? So if you are someone who received unemployment money last year, my best advice, and the taxpayer advocate said the same thing, is to wait another week or two until that guidance comes out. Otherwise, it's going to be even more confusion. You might have to file an amended return, which is a nightmare. Oh, my gosh. So much to navigate. Heather Long, thank you so much for helping us do just that. Really appreciate it.